Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be putting in some LED lights in the cargo trailer. Uh, when I got the trailer, it came with these blue circular lights and they're really dim. Um, when it's raining or dark in the forest, I want to be able to go in the trailer and have lots of light and be able to see everything. Uh, right now with the lights that are in there, they're not very good. So make sure you keep watching to see how we install these. Okay. That's that one. There's this one. And they really just don't light anything up. The light that you're getting is from the roof here, or the door, or the other window that I have open so I can see. So we're going to change both these lights out today. Okay, so we removed the original light from the ceiling. We're probably going to have to touch up the edges with some stain to match. Uh, I'm really not too worried about it. So just in case we have to reuse this light, we're going to cut off uh, not all the way to the grommets, but close. That's our ground, and now our power. There's our old light with some wires left on, just in case. Now we're going to have to strip these wires. Make sure you strip it to the right size. One. And the black one is power and the white one is ground in this application. The ground wire is a little bit larger. Now with those two stripped, I'm going to spin the wires. You guys can see this that's just what I used to connect the wires they gave me those twist ones but uh, when we're on the back roads and this thing's bouncing around I don't want to take the chance that that could come apart so we will crimp these ones on there so we'll start with this side and then we'll hold the light up and do that side hopefully you guys can see okay one. Always check it just to make sure that it's not going to come off. Sometimes I find if you spin them they'll go on a little easier. Part the other side. So this light I just got on Amazon, I will put it in the description below in case you guys want to buy them. I'll also put the butt connectors with a uh, link below. So you should be able to tell when you pull your existing light down which one's positive and negative. Um, and then on the back of this from Amazon, you can see there's one ground and then two power wires that go into one. So pretty easy to tell. So we are going to do our white ground to our ground on here. And that just goes in like that. And pinch that. tricky trying to do this one-handed and hold the light up. I guess I could put one screw and offset it just to hold the light, but I'll give this a go. Okay. There we go. That one's in. That one's not coming off, so should hold the light 
vertical just so we can hit the light switch and make sure it works. Backlight on. And there's one side. Oh, there's both sides. Yeah, it looks way brighter than what we had in here. So that's perfect. We'll uh, screw that one to the ceiling and work on the back one. I was also thinking about adding a light, so I might add a strip, a cover strip, and turn this light off quickly. So I was thinking about adding another light in the middle where there's no wires. So what I was thinking is I will just do kind of a, a cover strip coming off here, uh, this side, uh, coming off one end, probably not this side, but just to show you guys, like a white strip that'll house the wires and it'll run to the center of the trailer and that'll put another light. Um, just because I don't have wiring in the middle of the trailer, but uh, if I do it that way, then you know I will have that white strip, but at least I'll have an extra light. And that white strip, whatever, it's not the end of the world. I'd rather have nice lighting and being able to see. So now that that's down, let's mount this real quick. And I have the existing screws from the original light. So let's pop these. Face covers off. So it's a pinch and pull. Okay, one done. Let's do the other side. There we go. Let's make sure you tuck up all the wiring. And we're going to offset this a little bit because. And we're by the shelf and I want more lighting in the middle. So we'll go a little more this way. And that's okay. One screw. tucked up. Turn on. It's one side. Both sides, wow, super bright and off. Put these covers back on. That's done. Put the other cover back on. too okay with this one done we're gonna go and quickly do the, the back one and I will speed up the footage for that one and then I will catch you guys at the end
you can actually see in here now. It's a million times better. So if you guys are interested, this is the brand I got off Amazon. I'll link them down below. Um, just a pair of electrical pliers for cutting and stripping the wire and then crimping. Um, I needed a Robertson number two for my old lights. And then these are 14 to 16 gauge butt connectors. I would prefer the butt connectors over these ones, which just thread the two wires together. And those could fall out when I'm driving down a road. So left those out, used my own butt connectors. And I will do a supply list down below. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed uh, the lighting change in my cargo trailer. Uh, if you're doing a cargo trailer, I highly suggest it. Turned out really well. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.